Hello. Today we're playing Pokemon, but that's not why you're here. You're here because I said I'm not buying The Sims 4 kits anymore, which is why we are here. But let's try to catch this sucker. Let's use a Great Ball. Um, so I didn't want to open The Sims to talk about this, so I was playing Pokemon, so I was like, you know what? Let's just do like a Pokemon while I'm freaking like doing this. I don't know. But anyways, so... I wanted to talk about this because I'm not going to be buying The Sims 4 kits anymore. I don't think they're good value for money. Um, it's just as simple as that. I think that they're a waste of money. They are, they cost like a, like half the price of a stuff pack and they contain quarter amount of the content. They're kind of getting better on their cost value analysis, but really I'm not here for it anymore. But the main reason I no longer want to purchase kits is because in 2021, it was the only year that EA did not release an expansion pack in November and December, and instead they released two kits. So you're probably like, Katie, why is that a big deal? Well, November, December, the Christmas period, is traditionally for businesses uh, when they make a lot of money because everyone's buying Christmas presents. And so in my mind, this means that the money, like the total profit EA made from two kits was comparable to what they would have made from making two expansion packs because why else would they risk on losing money? Like we know EA likes money. They're a company, of course they like money, but EA's pretty notorious for this. Uh, that's why we've spent over $1,000 on The Sims and all of the expansion packs. But, so even if it didn't make the same amount of money, it may have used less costs and had a comparable profit margin. So it's not going to be an exact science. We don't have the numbers, but the fact is they're making money. And... I'm going to be frank with you, if you want kits to be in The Sims 5, keep on buying them because I'm about 90% sure that all the stuff they're doing at the moment is a beta test for what we're going to have in The Sims 5. Uh, you know, we've got scenarios which play very much like MMOs and, you know, we've got, oh fuck man, I can't aim. <laughs> and so we've got... Oh gosh, but yeah, it's just really, okay, get snorlaxed, bitch. Um, but <laughs> it's just very odd. I actually don't want to fight him. <laughs> he will get squished completely. But it's just, you know, I just can't support that because I don't want my Sims 5 to have kids. I just don't think they're worth it. The cost, like... It, for me, the content's not worth it. And I'm not going to tell you, hey, don't buy kits. If you don't, if you like them, you can keep on buying them. But morally, I cannot agree and I cannot promote having that sort of content in The Sims 5. And I don't want to encourage the fact that we can get two expansion, uh, two kits instead of an expansion pack at Christmas. Like, I'm sorry, but that doesn't sit well with me. And if it doesn't sit well with you either, I suggest you consider, do you really need the kit? Um, again, I'm not telling you to freaking not buy it. Because if you want to buy it, buy it. But, you know, don't, don't then complain about the lack of content. Because when you support a company monetarily for something they're doing that you don't approve... That's their way, that that counts as your approval. Even if you complain about it on Twitter or you complain about it on Facebook or wherever you complain, if you are still purchasing it, they don't care that you're complaining because they've got the money. Like, that, that's how it works. Like, you know, so it's kind of like, well, you know, if you were... Uh, oh, nice, nice shot. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to say, and I know this video is really low effort, but I'm just putting in the same amount of effort that EA is. Anyways, um, as I was saying, honestly, I say as I was saying, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh well. Um, as if I know, 
as if I know what was going on, but I'm going to be honest, I don't. I rambled, I started again because I decided I didn't like the video, and then I'm like, you know what, actually, my first take was pretty good. We're going to use that. And so <laughs> we're back here, and I'm going to do an outro for you all. But, yeah, I just... I'm not having a good time with The Sims 4 kits, and I just think that, you know, I just can't support that anymore is the bottom line, and... You know, you don't have to agree with me. That's what opinions are for. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can buy the kits if you want to, but if you like kits and you want them in The Sims 5, keep on buying them. If you don't and you don't want them in The Sims 5, maybe consider not buying them because, you know, the simple fact is that I think they are definitely testing the waters with what they can get away with. We've heard that... The Sims 5 is going to be an online title, um, is rumours, obviously nothing's confirmed, I'm not going to be like, The Sims 5 is going to be online, but we've heard rumours, and you know, the, uh, the scenarios that they're doing that are limited time, like, they, they seem very online based, like, to me, that's, that seems like an online thing that you would do, so... It's kind of like, well, I don't really like that. And with the thing, addition of kits, like they are very much, again, feel very online focused. Because if you look at like mobile games, like the, even The Sims Mobile, you get something that is fairly, um, like if you've played a mobile game, you know, the value is not great. And what you're getting is not much. And that's really what kits feel like. It feels like they are beta testing for the sims 5 to see what we will and won't put up with and so if you don't want them in the sims 5 just don't get them but you know i could be wrong i could be wrong i've been wrong before this is just my opinion and speculation and reasoning behind why i'm not going to be purchasing them anymore because i think that they're beta testing for the sims 5 again you could completely disagree with me and that's okay and I'm not telling, that's why I'm not telling you to do anything. Because, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You don't have to listen to me. I don't listen to me. I'm honestly impressed that you're still listening to me right now. But, um, I just don't know when to end it. Because it's like, what are we doing in Pokemon? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah. So, not going to be getting it anymore. This looks important. Moss Rock. Very cool. Anyways. That's fine, off topic. But yeah, so that's, I guess, where we're at is um, pretty much the too long didn't read is I'm not buying the kits anymore because I don't want to monetarily support them anymore. And so we're not going to have reviews for them anymore. So I'm sorry for that. I do like providing you guys with updated, like, honest reviews. And honestly, I'm happy to look at some of the content and tell you if I think it's worthwhile. But I'm going to be honest, my general stance for kits now is that it's not worthwhile and that you should not be getting them, even if they've got a cute top you like. Like, is, is, is it worth ruining? No, don't fall in the water. Is it worth ruining the thing? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that's, that's where we're at. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm believing. And I don't know. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, I've not caught one of these guys before.